Welcome to the journey of discovering the best exercises for your inner thighs. Today, we're all about those hidden heroes of your physique, the inner thighs. These often overlooked muscles play a crucial role in overall muscle balance and joint health. Strengthening them isn't just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. Now, whether you're a fitness newbie or a seasoned pro, these exercises are designed to be easy to follow and suitable for all fitness levels. So, don't worry if you've never given these muscles much thought before. We're here to guide you through the process. And remember, while we can't target fat loss in a specific area, combining these inner thigh exercises with a balanced diet and regular cardio will eventually help you achieve the body composition changes you're aiming for. So, are you ready to dive into the world of inner thigh exercises? Get your excitement on because we're about to get started. First up, we have the sumo squats, a powerful exercise that targets your inner thighs, glutes, and quads. To perform a sumo squat, start by standing tall with your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Point your toes slightly outwards. Now lower your body by bending your knees until your thighs are parallel to the floor, just like a sumo wrestler preparing for a match. Make sure your knees are over your ankles and your back is straight. Hold this position for a second, then push back up to the starting position. That's one rep. As you squat, imagine you're sitting back into a chair. Your chest should stay lifted, your abs engaged. This is key to maintaining balance and protecting your lower back. Now let's talk about the breath. Inhale as you lower your body. Exhale as you push back up. Breathing correctly can make a huge difference in your performance and the effectiveness of the exercise. Finally, let's focus on the tempo. Slow and steady wins the race here. The slower you go, the more your muscles have to work, and the more strength and endurance you'll build. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about doing it right. Keep going, you're doing amazing. Moving on, we have lateral lunges. Increase your strength and stability with this dynamic move. Lateral lunges are an excellent exercise to target your inner thighs while also challenging your balance and coordination. So, how do you perform it? Begin by standing tall with your feet hip width apart. Take a big step out to the right and bend your right knee, keeping your left leg straight. Make sure to push your hips back as if you're sitting on a chair. It's crucial to keep your right knee in line with your right foot to prevent any strain or injury. As you lunge, you should feel a stretch in your left inner thigh, push off your right foot to return to the starting position, and that's one rep. Aim for 10 to 15 reps on each side and remember, consistency is key. And there you have it, the lateral lunge, a versatile exercise that targets those inner thighs while improving your overall lower body strength. Great job, feel the burn, embrace it, that's your body getting stronger. Next on our list is inner thigh lifts. This isolation exercise is perfect for toning your inner thighs, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty of how to nail this move. First, lie down on your right side, supporting your head with your right hand. Keep your right leg extended straight on the floor, while bending your left leg and placing your left foot on the ground in front of your right knee. Now, engage your core. This is crucial for maintaining balance throughout the exercise. Once you're in position, it's time for action. Slowly lift your right leg as high as you can, keeping it straight and steady. Hold it there for a beat, feeling that inner thigh work, then lower it back down, making sure not to touch the ground, that's one rep done and dusted, do a set of 10 to 15 reps then switch to the left side and repeat, remember, consistency is key, you might not feel the burn on the first few reps but trust me, it'll kick in soon enough, and when it does, that's when the magic happens, keep pushing through, every rep brings you one step closer to your goal, up next, the glider side lunge, this is a fun and effective move that works your inner thighs, glutes, and hamstrings. Let's break it down, step by step. First, place your right foot on a glider. Now, keeping your left foot stationary, slide your right foot out to the side. As you do this, bend your left knee into a lunge. Ensure your knee doesn't go past your toes to maintain proper form. Then, using your inner thigh and glute muscles, pull your right foot back to the starting position. Remember to keep your core engaged throughout the move and maintain a steady pace. Don't rush it. The slower you go, the more your muscles will work. Now let's switch sides. The same rules apply. Left foot on the glider this time, right foot stationary and slide to the side. It's challenging, isn't it? But guess what? That burn you're feeling means it's working. And with each repetition, you're getting stronger, toning those inner thighs, glutes and hamstrings. So keep at it. Well done. Remember, consistency is key. Keep up the good work. Congratulations on completing these inner thigh exercises. You're on your way to stronger and well-toned thighs. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane to refresh what we've covered today. 
We kicked off with sumo squats, a great exercise to fire up those inner thigh muscles. Then we moved on to lateral lunges, an excellent move for working those adductors. We then dove into inner thigh lifts, isolating and strengthening those often neglected muscles. And finally, we rounded it all off with the glider side lunge, a challenging but rewarding exercise that truly targets those inner thighs. Now that you're equipped with these effective exercises, I encourage you to weave them into your regular fitness routine. Consistency is key when it comes to any form of exercise, and these inner thigh workouts are no exception. It might be tough at the start, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Each squat, each lunge, each lift is a step towards your goal of stronger and more defined thighs. But hey, it's not just about the physical benefits. Exercise is also a fantastic mood booster. It's a time to focus on yourself, to push your boundaries, and to feel a sense of accomplishment. So even on those days when motivation seems to be playing hide-and-seek, remember the feeling of completing a tough workout, the rush of endorphins, and the satisfaction of knowing you're doing something good for your body. Remember, every step counts. Keep moving, keep sweating, and most importantly, keep smiling. Fitness is a journey, not a destination, and every little bit of effort you put in brings you one step closer to your goals. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and consider subscribing for more fitness tips and workouts. Until next time, stay strong and keep going.